I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to introduce you to an exciting new product from the Zern Wilkins Group. It's called the ZWFR, or basically Zern Wilkins Freeze Relief Valve. What this valve was designed to do was to be attached to a backflow preventer to prevent damage to that backflow preventer in the event that it gets caught in a snap freeze. Now when you receive the ZWFR, it's going to come in a clamshell package like you see here, along with the instructions to install it. And again, this is the basic ZWFR valve. It will be included along with a test cock. Now again, this is for installation in a backflow preventer. Certainly doesn't have to be used just in a backflow preventer. We can put it on any, any fixture that we want to prevent from freezing. But nevertheless, what's designed to go on a backflow preventer? Let me show you what I'm referring to. I've got a 975 XL2 that actually has the ZWFR attached to it. What we've done is we've attached it into the fourth test cock of this backflow preventer, and as you can see, we also add an additional test cock. The test cock in the backflow preventer will be left in an open position for the duration. We want the water inside the backflow preventer to be exposed to the ZWFR. Now, when this is installed out in the field, you'll typically have an incoming riser and an outgoing riser. And the ZWFR senses the internal temperature of the water inside the valve. Whenever that water approaches 35 degrees, the ZWFR will open up and it now starts expelling water. The underlying principle here is, as we're expelling water, new water that's underground, you know, in the pipeline, will now rise on up and go into the valve. Thus, we're getting warmer water in there, such that when the temperature rises up to approximately 40, the Z ZWFR will close itself off. Now, it's designed to continue to repeat this cycle. Again, when the internal temperature drops down to 35, the ZWFR opens up, begins to expel water, and now lets more water come back in that's warmer in temperature. Now, while we're talking about this, we actually have a little film that we'd like to show you. We'll segue here and, and show you a ZWFR in actual operation. We've got it attached to the bypass assembly of an 8-inch valve here at the Wilkins factory, and uh, we had some freezing conditions, and you can see the valve's actually doing its job. It's got water discharging from it, and once again, whenever the water inside the valve rises up to a temperature of 40, that ZWFR will close itself off. Now, I don't want to indicate to anybody that the ZWFR is the answer to all freezing conditions. Certainly, we want to winterize our valve or put the proper corrective, uh, or protective enclosures over them. But in the event that we did get caught in that snap freeze, this device will prevent the valve from freezing and breaking. I'd like to thank you for watching our video today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our One Zern YouTube channel. For more product information or to speak to a customer care representative, please visit our website at CERN.com.